you are watching loud silence and i'm standing at oglogo the old dump site in accra what i'm about to show you is really going to shock you madame ivona mankwa a mother of four has been living with it for a year and a half now Ghana is faced with uh, serious uh, energy uh, challenges, uh, the uh, low shedding of electricity we have been going through demonstrate the enormity of our energy challenges. Any material that has the potential of being transformed into energy, you know, has economic use, it has economic value. Mm -hmm. The people here may see the fire as the least of their worries because it provides free gas but such natural gas formed from garbage can be extremely dangerous. It may not be healthy to cook with, and with the smallest disturbance, it could even explode at any time. Since the landfill produces so much heat, could there be a way to capture this as usable energy? Ghana is currently focused on gaining energy from the West African natural gas pipeline, but could energy production from waste provide a simpler way to get this gas directly from the trash we produce at home every day? Uh, what is happening in this community at the, at the landfill uh, attests to the fact that you can generate gas from waste uh, uh, substances, you know, through uh, the burning of uh, biodegradable materials. If there is a way to trap the escaping gas, that would be welcome, but it's very difficult unless you have an engineered process. But un until you are able to get this engineered uh, system, you will not be able to tap. I mean, but it's very dangerous because these gaseous substances are also affecting the environment. It's affecting the health of the people. The technology of converting waste to energy is feasible in Ghana. But the question is, would it be economical to do it? And that has been the main challenge. Waste generation in Accra is estimated around 2,000 tons a day. So if you have a place where you can really operate effectively for between 15 to, to 50 years, it gives the, 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 the real impact that you want in terms of gas recovery, in terms of uh, creating uh, that sustainability, not moving from one point to the other. It's relevant for the country now than ever. You know, Ghana is faced with uh, serious uh, energy uh, challenges. What we need to do is to expand renewable energy. Once you are able to gather this waste, and waste is generated every day, every hour, you will have a reliable source. In a place where waste management and energy reliability are huge issues, why can't we solve both problems at once? Such innovation would need great support from private businesses and government alike. But if funding is actually spent in the right places, 
could domestically produce renewable energy be the solution to Ghana's current energy crisis.